Hey YouTube, and we're back, and I'm just going to review Heroes today because I've decided that I have homework to do and I don't have time for all that. So we're first going to go into Malia and Farah. Well, so Malia doesn't know how she's supposed to help at all in saving the world. <laughs> and gets discovered and they start running after Malia does her little power stuff to block them. Then Freya gets shot because... There's this new character that stops Malia from being able to use her powers. I was like, hmm, what is going on? And Malia's good. She like was like in the logs, covered up. I was like, okay, look at you with some skills. And that was all from Malia. Then we go to my Amiko and Ren. So now they're in the United States, they're at the building, and their mission begins when they see Harris and they're like, okay, so we just gotta move around him, which they're pretty good at. They're pretty sneaky. I'm not gonna give them, give them a lot of credit for this because he like stops, turns around, grabs this girl that looks like her and then she like hops over and then hops back and grabs Ren and then hops back over. I was like, okay, look at you, Biko, getting it in and... Should I get to that part? Uh, I will. And so, he puts, Ren puts his phone into the car that Harris is driving into the gas pump thing. And track it all the way back to Erica's house where they revive the sword. Also saving Noah, Quentin, and Taylor in the process. And they get the sword and they're back to Evernow where they're going to save her father. So now we get to Carlos. Not a lot happens with Carlos this episode. We see he finds out, he goes back to the shop, finds out that um, his nephew is gone, Jose is gone, and so he goes to the police station and is like, where are they? To Captain James, which is also an Evo. And the department, as he gets there, gets the, e gets the epic, so they put him on and they see that Captain James is an Evo. And so they like take him down. He's like off. Carlos is gone. And then Carlos comes back to save him so he can find out where his father and his nephew is. But he doesn't tell him that because he is L whatever, the superhero. So, and of course, Captain James agrees to help. So that he doesn't get whatever they do to the Evos. Um, then we go to Quentin, Noah, and Taylor. They found out what Erica's doing, which is repopulate, but we found out at the end that the re they're not they're not the ones doing the extinction. It's actually the sun with the which is which people have predicted before. So I like that the show is incorporating that realism. So it's interesting though. I was like, okay, yeah, okay. So they plan on repopulating with no Evos, just normal people. They find that out. But they think the plan is she's going to wipe out all the Evos and then repopulate with normals. So that's what they think. So Taylor calls her mom's at home and they have a perfect plan to get them alone. Then they do. And apparently Erica thinks that Taylor's using again. But she's not. And then Noah comes in and is like she's not using again. She's with us or whatever. And then Noah like gets her aside and then is about to tell him what is going on and it's like he's like what happens he's like what's supposed to happen what am I protecting he's like she's like you mean who I was like it's a who it's not even a what anymore it's a who I was so confused and then Harris comes in helps them and then that's when Miko comes in helps them and then tries to track them down didn't happen and Quentin got really mad at Harris they captured one of the Harrises and Quentin's like, where's my sister? I was like, oh, can you calm down? Like, calm down, please. So then we go to Luke, who discovers he had power, lost his wife, and whatever. So he goes home, is reminiscing, is crying the whole episode, basically. Watch some old videos, still crying. He goes to his son's room, sees a picture of his now ex-wife, even though they haven't gotten an official divorce. But I'm pretty sure when you put a gun to your husband's head, I think that means divorce. So he, throw, he sets it on fire, throws it on the floor, takes his ring off, throws it. Whole room's on fire. He's out the house. He just burned his own house. And he called someone to get them to the house for some money. I don't know what is going on with that. So then we finally get to Tommy. 
So Tommy has to register as an Evo now and is being questioned about, oh, what's your real name? He's like, Tommy's my real name. He's like, what's your real last name? He's like, Clark. He's like, no, it's not. That's what your name before you were adopted. I was like, what? He was adopted? I was like, oh, oh this is not okay. And so after he finds out, he's like, Doom! and he goes. He first goes to his house where he finds out he's being evicted for being an Evo. Then he goes to Emily's house where he finds out that he needs to give his mom a chance to explain. Oh, and after he leaves, the detective that was questioning him, Casper, I believe his name is, character, comes with the penny to make him forget everything. So it goes to Emily, he helps, she helps clear his head, he, then he goes to his, the hospital to question his mom and is like, why didn't you tell me and all this, and that's when Casper shows up again after she said, I'm going to tell you everything. Casper's like, are you really going to tell him everything? And he's like, tell me what? And Casper's like, you're really important to us because you're going to save the world one day. He's like, I don't want to save the world, it disappears. No, that was, that was the whole episode. So what do you guys think of this episode? I thought it was very, very intense. Like, I like the whole Miko. I'm glad she got a sword. I see that next episode we're going to see Hiro Nakamura, which I'm excited about. I love Hiro. I cannot wait. So I just, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be an interesting episode. I still want to know what happened to Claire, how she died, because Claire has healing powers. How is she supposed to die? It doesn't make any sense. But tell me what you guys thought about this episode. It's really cloudy outside, so I'm sorry about the lighting. But I love you guys, and I will see you next week with an all-new review of stuff. I don't know what I'm going to talk about Monday, so give me ideas for what you guys want me to talk about on Monday. Love you. See you next week. Bye!